What's happening guys? Out here in Elmont, Michigan on a project that we just completed. Uh, Stu was our rep on this project. Uh, got to work with an absolutely fantastic client. I'm gonna let you have Stu walk through this project on how he figured this out. And it's a really unique combination. It's pretty much all Fent everything. It's Cedarville uh, is the color of the paver with a slate border. And we also have Verrazzo in the chestnut with the universal coping. Uh, the only thing that is not Fent here is the sand, which is SEK Sherbond, and then also the passageway steps that lead up. That's county materials. Stu, lead us in. Show us what All we right. got here. Yeah, welcome. Uh, we're in this beautiful property here in Alma, Michigan. Uh, I was very fortunate to, to come across this project. Uh, so essentially, when we originally evaluated the project, uh, they had uh, built the project on slag sand. So the, uh, the, there was no drainage in the walls. Uh, so everything was just falling apart and, and just disarray. So do you have the old video or pictures that we could send so yeah. people can see what this looked like before? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, be we'll great. provide the, the before and afters. It's, it's pretty uh, night and day. Yeah. Uh, like we said, uh, when we, we, so we evaluated the situation at first, I didn't know if we were going to need to, uh, you know, do a new complete dig out yeah once we got into um, the project we did uh, decide that we were gonna have to re put up the base because there was about six inches of slag sand Ooh. which totally destroyed everything yeah. um, that was currently here and like I said we'll provide those pictures so you can see it we brought the uh, clients back to the showroom uh, they picked the Cedarville product which is my first install and it's absolutely stunning I and love it I absolutely love it yep yeah. So I mean, we bordered it with the slates, the four by eight slate, which gives it a nice contrast and you know, kind of goes with um, their color theme of their home and, and the deck. You really um, did tie it all in here, Stu. Yep. And then of course, uh, with every project, uh, the water management is gonna be, you know, Huge. the most, probably the most important factor, right? So we incorporated. Oh. Real quick, what do we got going? Like, so how did we make this patio function? Right, so we have uh, we essentially a, a pitch. It's a little different. Yeah, so, because we have a, if you get a, look over there, there's a little brim with the water. So we can't just run the water off. We had to actually um, pitch the project over this way, um, about a what, two inch drop every 10 yep. feet. Yep. And then we wound up with the drain pipe here where we can kick out the water. Um, so you basically took, you made this the low point, just so I, we get clarification with the viewers. So not every patio, this is the reason why you hire a company that understands water mitigation and water management. What Stu is saying is there's a berm behind us. There's no way for us to get the water from here. This is not the high point, which should be if you want a natural watershed. There's a berm back there that prohibits us from actually draining the water and holding the water. Correct. So what they had planned was to pitch it towards the center and then run a hard pipe through that berm. And you can see the disturbed soil is they, they have drainage in here. So now when it rains, all this water rushes into that four or six inch and shoots out that way. So that's how you're able to get the water out. Correct, otherwise the water would just come right back on the patio and then you would have issues with the freeze thaw cycle during the winter time. Premature, you'd have premature failure because you'd have all this stuff soaked and in the winter time, how many freeze thaw cycles uh, did we get last year? 20, 30? Yeah, it was actually, I think a light year, but okay. even in a light cycle, you're gonna get 20, 30 freeze thaw cycles. So uh, that's why in Michigan, it's important to build, build uh, different, build correctly. And, and water mitigation. Water mitigation. I mean, for, for so yeah. this stays wet. And I mean, I know this is this doesn't sound like science, but when things get wet, they freeze. When they freeze, they expand. And right. then when they thaw, they contract. And you keep having these freeze thaw. Um, that's the reason why we do what we do when we want to get the water out of here, along with the load support grid mm -hmm. and all the things to hold the base in place, so we don't have it migrating into the substrate and the soils. Um, but again. I'm not, this is a very unique install and they had to essentially redo it because they didn't have the proper plans for water. Absolutely. And which leads into the wall systems here with the chestnut. Uh, I mean, you'll see the, in the before and afters, these, these uh, the wall systems that were here previously were just falling apart. And the, the, the homeowner, you know, has spent a lot of money 
15, 20 years ago, and it was just a complete disaster. So um, as you can see, we have the drain tile. And what yeah. is that for? Uh, it's to, to release the hydrostatic pressure that's yeah. behind the wall. So, I mean, it's a very common mistake. A lot of people don't incorporate drainage in their wall systems. Uh, I had one gentleman, in fact, he had just had it installed in, in the fall. Come, uh, he was already calling us in the spring for a quote because he couldn't get a hold of that contractor anymore. He didn't put drainage system. He had spent like $35,000. Yeah. And I had to give him a quote for $14,000 just to, to fix the wall. Fix the wall and yeah. put the proper drainage in. And that's the problem is the money that a lot of people think they're saving, especially on a project like this where you have these high elevations. I mean, we can see where I'm standing. I'm a six foot tall man. That wall is gonna be you know, almost eight feet tall. So I got eight feet of water just yep. pouring down this hill. So the water goes down the hill, and if you don't have a port to let that water out with drain tile behind it, that what he means is the water is gonna come from the back of the wall, it's gonna fill up, and if they didn't have a port to release it, eventually the higher it goes, the more pressure is gonna be put on that wall, especially when it freezes. So you're basically creating a dam, and it moves up the wall, freezes, freezes and then starts pushing the wall over. And so, that's what happened in that situation. Yeah. So and, it, and probably this one as well, mm -hmm. when you see the before pictures. So this is where a lot of the uh, the custom cutting and, and I mean, this is, uh, well, Louise was the, the foreman on this project and I mean, he knocked it out of the park as usual. Um, yeah. The client was originally looking for like a limestone natural look. Um, we kind of, you know, recommended, um, this product here from county uh the passageway yeah. the passageway back in uh kind of fit with the color scheme of the fent Agreed. and then um and fent doesn't see, make a uh, large uh paver like that so it would make sense that you know for us to do this and have it match without absolutely. getting it too busy because i think adding another color would make it too busy it's not for too sure. busy because it's a large space but it definitely ties in well with the wall system and the color from and, the browns and, and, and the And it kind of gives you that natural look with the with the stability and the, and the sharp edge. I mean, the problem with the limestone is irregular. Yeah. It's not uh, functional and, yeah. and safe in terms of getting up and down. This provides a nice safe space that you can, um, you know, get up and down comfortably. And then as you can see the custom cuts. Yeah, and this gentleman that we're working, that we worked for, uh, he had undergone uh, hip surgery. So this was not just a project that he wanted to do, but being able, you know, he was telling me earlier, just going to walk from here to his barn, that's all he wanted to be able to do. And now through time and rehabilitation, he's able to use these steps. So how cool is that? It makes it even better that, you know, somebody that is putting into their life and, and making themselves healthy is able to do this again and regain his functionality. Right. And we got to be a part of that. Yeah, I mean, we're just truly blessed to be able to provide value to these customers to, to know to sleep well at night, knowing we're providing a safe, functional solution. Uh, that's that gorgeous. And we're going to stand behind it. Yeah, and yeah. it's gorgeous. Yeah, it is. So, uh, and it's going to stand the test of time and how we build it. And it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, what about, like, I like this downspout over mm -hmm. here. So what's that? Why, why does that downspout look like that? Uh, yeah, so you're going to have a, the, the clean out. You can see the Y that's coming out. So we use uh, a lot of times, and we'll see this a lot on estimates, you see the black corrugated pipe, yeah. and then you'll have the pathway, and you got a big hump there, right? Because well, it crushed the pipe. Yeah, right? exactly. That's what happens. The corrugated pipe gets crushed underneath. Now, there is certain situations you use the corrugated yeah. pipe, but not for the downspout. So we like to use the PVC white pipe that way. Um, you know, if you do have an issue, if there's, you got a hailstorm and granules are clogging it up or leaves or what have you, you can uh, get in that Y and you can... Go, so you can clean it out. You don't have out. to rip the whole patio you apart. You don't have to rip the whole patio. To figure it Last out. Last thing we want to do is, yeah. is uh, you know, rip up this masterpiece to, yeah. to fix a drain. So Correct. Do it right the first time. And uh, then you just see us every, what, five to seven years to clean it up, sand it and seal it and keep it looking, keep it looking fresh. Yep. Yeah, let's keep going up these stairs. I, All right. I, 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 this elevation, so anybody in this business or anybody in the construction business will know that one of the hardest things that these crews do and that it's easy for me to say is making 
equal risers all the way to the top. Yeah. So and this one's a doozy. Yeah. And, and <laughs> when you, when you do more steps, the other another misconception as well is like, all right, well, uh, in most cases when you buy something, the more you buy, the cheaper it is. Not with steps because you can get to the top step, realize you're off. Say you're off by two three inches. Well, code is only going to allow you a quarter inch, it's really an eighth of an inch, give or take. So you got a quarter inch variable on each step and that's to, to protect homeowners from not falling down you know, large steps like this because they second guess what their footing is. So to get to this elevation up to that elevation and know how to do it, those are the lasers that these guys are using. And then also something that is probably gonna be mislooked on this project as well is the last step we set that last step to the garage floor because we have roughly two inches of drop on the driveway. But we know that that's eventually gonna be fixed, so we don't want them to have to raise this up and then have an issue where, you know, all of a sudden they're not able to get up there. So it's, it's thinking about the things that are going to happen and being mindful of what we're doing, not just running it to an incorrect line or if it's not straight level square, we're gonna make it straight level square and we're not gonna go off of a footprint that doesn't make sense, right? Because that's when you get those choppy, terrible looking projects. Yeah, absolutely. And then just, I mean, the angles and the cuts that he had to, uh, that Luis had to make here. Yeah. I mean. Uh, with a large block. Yeah. I mean, this isn't an easy block to do that with as well. And I like how we caulked up on the sides and I mean, the sand that, the, I, the sand's beautiful. Um, the whole project all around is just, it's stunning. I love the combination. It, it, yeah, when we put it on social, I mean, that it got shared so many times and everybody really? wanted to know what it was. It was the most shared thing we've ever had on Facebook. And if anybody knows anything about Facebook, it's almost impossible to right. organically get anything to go even remotely viral unless you have like a million followers. So <laughs> this project obviously caught a lot of people's eyes. What was um, exciting for me to see, I mean, the Cedarville, like I said, it was, it's a new product from Fence. So I was excited to see it. and. And boy, it looks good installed. Yeah, truly does. The chestnut and you're you're a, a big advocate of Fent. He sells <laughs> more Fent than anybody uh, in our business. So mm -hmm. locally owned and operated. Yep, hundred years in business, right? Privately so. held. So he he's a big fan of Fent as uh, I am as well, and he definitely likes the fact that they're privately held. They're made in Michigan, mm -hmm. owned in Michigan. The owners are still involved in the business, so yeah, uh, it's a nice it's a nice thing. I can't take all the credit though, because the the client is the one who comes in yeah. into our showroom and and selected this. And, and like I said, it was I think it was a perfect compliment to to what they have with their home. Yeah, and I think it's difficult to match something like this. You know, I mean, they, there's a lot it, with the brick color for sure in, in the siding. And I think uh, again, I I don't know what I would have came up with that would have topped this by any means. So. Uh, fantastic job. Let's uh, let's move up these stairs just to show you what we had done on this last one as well. So this step, kind of cool, but this step was set off the garage floor. So if you notice, the garage floor is much higher than the driveway because the driveway is sunk. So that's why we have to angle these pavers back as opposed to angling it all down the stairs. We had to run these pavers back, obviously, so you so it's flush. But then again, you're not having to reset a step in these wall systems when this gets fixed. So when he decides to move this, again, key and crucial, lasers. I mean, were you, why would you not use a laser on a project like this? All of our guys, from Stu to Luis, when we set these project up, projects up, we're running lasers to make sure that we're accurate within the time that we have to be accurate. So he set it off here. That's so unique that most guys would have never set it to here. They would have set it to here. Well, we know this isn't moving. So this is where it's gonna be later on. So we've already planned for that. So when he fixes it, he doesn't have to rip this all down because now all of his risers are off. So those are the, that's a difference on why when you hire, you know, a veteran like Stu and a veteran <laughs> like Luis and a, the veterans at our company is, you know, even though some of it doesn't make sense all the time, we have your best intentions, meaning we want to make sure that we build a project that not only is beautiful, but is functional, structurally sound, that you can go to four years from now, five years, 10 years from now, and yeah, I built that. And yeah. you're there to do maintenance. Yeah. Because they need to do that anyways. Yeah. They really should to, to keep it up. So that's what I think is different with our company. Um, 
is we have people that really, truly care. Guys like Stu. So I know we I haven't do. really uh, done a lot with the sales reps and I was kind of surprised <laughs> that he came out here. Um, just very blessed that he's, he's with us and uh, he's a great man. Somebody that <laughs> is constantly moving the needle for himself. Uh, he's a great teammate as well. He helps the sales reps. He brings a comedy like no other. You, 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 <laughs> when you get to see him off yeah, maybe, video. Maybe we get, uh, we'll get some of my characters or we get more film, but. Yeah, he's uh, got some funny, this is one of the funniest men uh, you'll ever meet. And especially when you're getting up at 4.30 in the morning on a Tuesday, because we're going through training. He keeps it lively. He keeps people engaged just because he's always got a great attitude. And I think that's one of the things that's overlooked as well is Everything is done with a smile. Even if there's hiccups along the, the project, it's, it's not the problems, it's how we handle it and the people that are handling those solutions and communication. Absolutely, I mean, I'm just so blessed to, to be a part of this team I, 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 you know, and have my small role in it. Like I tell everybody, you know, uh, I mean, from the, the master craftsmen, the superstars that, that, that make me look good, to, to the office staff, uh, to Steve, he don't give himself enough credit because he's the one who gelled all these people together and uh, we're all blessed to provide, you know, an outstanding product to our clients. And we appreciate you. He's representing Fent as I got, well. I wore my Fent shirt today. You wore the Fent shirt today. So Fent, take notice. This probably, you may want to reach out to this client and take some photographs and get this into the magazine once his <laughs> wife gets the landscape done. So. I know Bob Schischler is gonna be watching this, Bill Killen or Nikki. Uh, make sure you reach out to this guy and see if you guys can get some pictures because I, I definitely believe this one's magazine worthy. I, I guess we'd love to hear what you guys have to say and think if you think it's magazine worthy, but I really like that Cedarville. I like the combination a lot. Um, I never would have put that together and it's one of those ones that take you by surprise because you're like, eh, I don't know how that's gonna work out. <laughs> and it's like, you, not that it was, ever going to be bad right. but it it ends up it usually being better. does work out <laughs> yeah it ends up being better than what i ever expected by a lot where if we would have planned it out differently it, i think Honestly, we would have taken away i hear that more often than anything else and and that's so satisfying to hear it's like wow looks better than i even imagined it you know yeah. so when you get that kind of feedback uh i know our client is excited to to get his furniture and and start getting use out of this awesome have a good one, guys. Have a blessed one. And we'll, uh, we'll be with you. Keep, we'll keep uploading videos. Where you can follow us on X. You can follow us on TikTok. You can follow us on Facebook. You can follow us on Instagram. You can follow us pretty much everywhere. LinkedIn, uh, wherever there's social. I don't know how to do uh, uh, Snapchat, but that's the only one right now. But I'll figure that out as well. I just, <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out Twitter right now. So um, anywhere that there's social media, I want to make sure that you're yeah. able to see these videos and see that you know we are the right company that you want to choose and it's not choosing the company it's choosing the people and investing in the people that are in your company and having people like Stu having let me just put it this way would you have these people at your home and would you trust them and my answer to every single person that we have is 100% and I mean that with 100% conviction every single person I would have work at my house and I would not need to be there and know that my family's safe and know that everyone's safe because I have good upstanding men and women at our company, truly and blessed. So when I say that, I say that with all my heart and all the conviction in my heart that any interaction that you have with us, everyone's here for their client and for the people around them and you're gonna get the best team and experience that you've ever had in a construction process. Have a great day.